I know what you're thinking. If a, if a TV studio or a studio offered to interview me, would I go? Yeah, I'd go. Uh huh. Like uh, you know, uh, a matter of fact, my my first cousin just shared uh, a shows a politician. All them bright lights. He's in the studio being interviewed. All them bright lights on him. Because of my channel, if a if a uh, if a studio uh, wanted to inter interview me, would I go? Sure. Yeah, I'd go. Uh huh. All them. Here's what I'd say. All them bright lights. Here's what I'd say. If they if they would edit, it didn't allow me to put it on like I am this. I can't believe what's that? What's that saying? I'm not uh, outside looking in. I'm inside looking out. Is that the old saying? What's that? Is that what I'm saying? Anyway, I I like Yon Sue. Just look at the look at all the bright lights looking at me. Yeah, I'd go for an interview. Uh huh. Sure. Why not? Would I be nervous? Probably wouldn't. I've been doing this so long now. Oh, you're gonna be little, but I would call that a good nervous. Yeah, I'd go. Sure. Why not? Why not? I haven't been. I'd like to go to Los Angeles or New York City. Sure. If they gave me a free, if they gave me a, f a free plane ride and a hotel room, New York is usually where my interviews are at. New York City or Los Angeles. Uh, a jet, uh, a jet trip out there or up there in a hotel room? Sure, I'd go. Yeah, in a heartbeat. You'd watch, right? <laughs> you got to remember, folks. I'm not 18 and green behind the ears. All green behind the ears is gone. No, I'm much wiser, much, even my Uncle Junior, my Uncle Junior is probably blown away. I'm much wiser, much smarter than what, that's one thing I do love about this video business. It's an education, people, if you believe that. I'm a H-E-double-L, -L, you can spell right, H-E-double-L. -L. I'm a lot smarter uh, uh, now than what I was two years and eight months ago when I started my video business. This business making videos train your brain believe it or not it trains your brain with words uh, I, I know you probably can't see that but believe me if you ever meet me in person you can tell it I'm not saying I, I, I'm a know-it-all no no but I'm not this I'm not the dullest knife in the drawer either yeah that's what I love about this business it, it, it's very 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 educational I was watching um, some Gomer Pyle here you know Jim neighbors and they interviewed him and uh, I watched it, I don't know, about a year ago. And he basically said that Hollywood is such a cutthroat... Whoops, I knocked my earplug out. A little blooper uh, on my part. He said Hollywood is such a cutthroat business. And I mean that with respect. Uh, he said it's such a cutthroat business. He says he doesn't even know how he made it. Ain't that amazing? Yeah. And he said Frank Sutton... You know, Sergeant Carter even yelled, even yelled, just like he does when you watch Gummer Pile, USMC. He even yelled in rehearsal. They would even film it. They would just, you know, practice the you know, rehearsal. He would even yell during rehearsal. He just enjoyed doing it. And Jim Neighbors would often tell Frank, hey, you know, calm down. We're just rehearsal. Lower your voice because he actually, you know, when you're there next to him, we're watching on film. They says in, in, next to him, he'd blow your, he had a real loud mouth, Frank Sutton. He'd blow your ears out. And he said, Jim Neighbors said many a nights he went home with a headache. But he says, uh, he, he asked Frank to calm his voice down. We're just rehearsal. And Frank wouldn't do it. He just loved to yell, and even during rehearsal, even before they filmed it, uh, uh, they he would yell just just like he does on camera. If yeah, Frank Sutton was a great actor, it's too bad he died early, but he he even yelled during rehearsal. He just he just enjoyed yelling, playing that part, Sergeant Carter. <laughs> cool.